Trebinje and we are going to Ostrog. Luca's aunt was kind enough to drive us, to say she's driving us. So that is awesome because we had no other way to go unless we want to hitchhike for like 300 kilometers. Yeah, we're leaving at 12. It's 10.15 right now. We're making breakfast. And tonight we're sleeping at the monastery, which will take you guys along for that because that is going to be a very cool experience. <laughs> huh? I think it's maybe about 150 kilometers from Trebinje and to kind Ostrog. Of, they're kind enough to drive us to the Lugor Monastery. Do you know how helpful that is for us today? Because there's no buses that go to the Ostrog Monastery like itself. We, we would have had to take a bus to like Nikšić, which is the bigger, bigger town. It, it would go tonight, so we wouldn't even get to see Ostrog because we already have Budva booked in it. They are so much help right now. Lifesavers, man. Look at this little dam here. I'm just following the dog. But yeah, I'm excited. I don't know what Ostrog has to hold. I know it's a monastery and um, I really want to see it and I'm excited to see it but like sleeping in it. Apparently there's two options. You can either sleep outside on like um, the rooftop with just like a sleeping pad that they give you or you can sleep inside in the bunk beds but I feel like it would be a very cool experience to sleep outside. But yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. I think this is the only stop we're probably gonna make and then we'll just keep driving and what is that? Is that a penguin? Whatever. Now where are we? I don't know but I think this is a beach club at night. Look. They even have like these little stairs, I guess, when the water goes to a lower level, you can maybe walk on there. But yeah, we just made a little pit stop. you see like that part that it's in a rock but I didn't know it's this up high like I thought it was just in the rocks and that's what it was cool about it Currently about 4.30 p.m. I think. We got here around 2ish and we explored the upper monastery. We came down and we put our bags away into the lower monastery accommodation area. Yeah, and they were extremely kind to be able to take our bags. Because they don't usually do that and it's yeah. bunk beds which you pay for. Up at the upper monastery, you don't pay for it. You sleep outside with just blankets, which is what we're gonna do and it's gonna be really amazing yeah. and such a cool experience. But it would have been crazy to walk up with the bags yeah. because- It's like 200 steps and it's yeah. steep and it's slippery so I- we got really heavy bags. Yeah, but right now we're just gonna explore the lower monastery and probably get something to eat. They have some restaurants around because I think there's even a hotel here somewhere. Probably. Yeah, so yeah, we're just gonna do that now, but... But I'm this is the entrance to the lower I'm monastery. so glad that we were able to come here. It's very cool. It's gonna be really cool. fun sleeping tonight. Yeah. It doesn't say we can't. It just says no smoking.
So about 500 meters away from the lower monastery, there's a bunch of restaurants and little gift shop. So we went to one restaurant and we ate and the food was really good, but the Wi-Fi didn't work. <laughs> so when we finished eating, we went to the restaurant right beside it to get coffee and that's where we're at right now because we want Wi-Fi, what can I say? Is your coffee good? It's amazing. I got a cappuccino. And I, I just got a regular black coffee. And I might get a tea. Um, also, it's a little cloudy over there. Can't even see. But we're hoping it doesn't rain. We're sleeping under just the stars tonight, so... Oh, I have to download coloring pages right now on my Happy Color app because I need Wi-Fi to color and I won't have it, so I really want to color. That's what we're going to do. I think we're almost at the top. I'm not sure. We're taking a break because Marina wants to take a break. Took a little break. I think it's like three kilometers from the bottom monastery to the top monastery. I think we're almost there. You can even see it. Yeah, maybe like, I'm hoping like 10, 15 more minutes. But we're sleeping up there. And we're going up there. And you know what the worst part is? We have to wear like long clothes, so I'm sweating. I never sweat before this trip and now I drip. All right guys, we've made it up to the top. And there, we grabbed a couple of blankets, pillows, and yeah, we're gonna be sleeping right here on the floor probably tonight. leave in the morning there's gonna be a mask going on in there so we'll probably get woken up obviously by the Sun and the church bells oh, maybe this guy right here might wake us up too I think And that is it. We woke up. We stayed for a bit of the mass. Not the whole thing though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is it for Ostrog. We slept all night. It was a little chilly. We should have listened when people told us to bring jackets, but so okay. we didn't. But we put all that, of our blankets away. Yeah, and it was actually pretty comfy, but we woke up at like 5.30 and then the mass was at 6. We stayed for like 20 minutes of it maybe. Walked back down, got coffee, and now we're kind of stuck on what to do, but we're somehow getting to Budva today. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.